Right. Um, you know, I am well aware of uh, people's cynicism about um, you know, movies that are supposedly based on true stories, more so with the horror genre. You know, like, um, you know, when mo a movie like Argo comes along, no one kind of questions that. People kind of go along with it and go, oh, yeah, 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 that's right, right? Um, but, uh, but when it comes to the horror genre, I think it's been diluted so much. You know, um, in recent years, a lot of movies just say it's based on true story just for the sake of marketing. And so um, coming into this, I was very mindful of that, and I wanted to wear the base on the true story um, label with pride. I wanted to be proud of it. I wanted to, um, you know, um, I wanted it to be a badge of honor that I can really stand by. And so, you know, one of the things we did very early on was we wanted to, um, you know, reach out to Lorraine and the parents uh, as much as we could. And so, this is, so that that way, then the voices that we get to put into the movie are the voices of the real life people. Well, um, why that? Because um, they, they, they're such great actors. I mean, first and foremost, that, that's who they are. They're, they're such talented people. And, uh, and also, you believe them as everyday people, too. You know, um, you know they, they bring so much depth to the characters. And they, uh, and they you know, they, when you watch it, you're not taken out of the movie, you know, because um, they, they become the characters. That's what I love about Patrick, you know, is, uh, you know, pa pa Patrick has, uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, the, the, the looks and acting chop of like a great leading man, but uh, when he plays a, a character like this, he just kind of like, you know, buries himself into it. Kind of, you know, kind of like old school Johnny Depp in a lot of ways, right? And, uh, and that's why we all love Johnny Depp, because, you know, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a character actor trapped in, in a leading man's body. And, and that's how I kind of feel too with, with, with my actors here. And, uh, and, and I'm very fortunate to have them in this movie. And Patrick and Vera were very, um, instrumental in wanting to uh, be as respectful to the real people as, the, as they could. And sa same with Ron and Lily as well. But I think, um, you know, I think uh, uh, it, it, it was a bit trickier with, uh, with, for Patrick and Vera just because the Warrens have, um, you know, have a public image, right? They're, they're out there. People know who they are. And so, uh, so they, don't, they want it to be, um, you know, cool to that as well. Uh, I wanted to get as, as much information as I could from them, uh, but not to the point where it kind of hinders me making the movie I wanted to make, right? And so, uh, so I kind of, in a lot of ways, um, kind of um, use my writers as a surrogate, you know, like they're, they're the ones that would kind of like get in there, I'll tell them and go, ask them about this, ask them about that, right? Because I want to know, right? But I kind of like, you know, Sometimes, you know, like early on, I was actually a bit frightened. <laughs> I was a bit nervous. I wasn't sure uh, if I could meet Lorraine. Uh, but uh, but when I finally did, I was just pleasantly surprised at how charming and how lovely she was. And then it was very easy then. And then, you know, um, then it became, uh, you know, uh, it became very easy for me to, uh, to know how I wanted to portray her. You know, I would love to um, build my own mythology here and say, uh, you know, crazy stuff happened on set, crazy scary stuff. But the truth of the matter is, uh, it was a really happy set. You know, like everyone had so much fun making the movie. Um, my philosophy is, you know, like making movies can, uh, are very difficult and, uh, and it should be fun. And especially something with a subject matter like this that is so dark and, uh, and so, you know, it can be so frightening. I don't know, I think that's better left on the screen than behind the camera. Not so much during the shooting, but, uh, but at the start of production, when I was designing the movie, when I was working on the script with, um, with the Hayes brothers, and, and even talking with, um, with uh, Vera as well about how we, you know, we wanted to, um, to, you know, to really show Lorraine and, and, and Ed. Um, you know, there were moments in there where uh, the movie really got into our head early into production. Um, I remember Vera was telling me that, uh, that she would keep waking up at about 3 a.m. in the morning, which is, you know, which ties into, um, you know, a, a particular plot point in the film. And so, uh, so I think, you know, I think some of that stuff just kind of, you know, from the pages, it kind of like found its way into our heads. Uh, but luckily, yeah, there was nothing more than that. <laughs>